Our top story here at 6 o'clock, those final preparations underway for that large pro-Israel rally in the district. A large crowd is expected on the National Mall this afternoon. They are here in D.C. to show solidarity with Israel, condemn anti-Semitism, and demand the release of hostages held by Hamas. Now, right now, thousands of people from all across the country are either here in D.C. or they are on their way for today's March for Israel. We found News Force Joseph Omo live on the National Mall with more on what we can expect today. Joseph, good morning. Hey, Jimmy, good morning to you. Well, you see behind me, the stage is indeed set. Nobody out here quite yet, but the preparations are still underway. It is a big deal when you have upwards of 60,000 people who are coming to the National Mall. I mean, look at how big the stage is here. Just, I mean, the National Mall is a, is, is a big place with being able to see the grass or not being able to see the grass. But, uh, you know, it, it always looks even bigger when you have a ginormous event space that's put right on top of it. Today, we are expecting to to hear um, a lot of remarks about what is going on 7,000 miles away from our homes uh, over in Israel and in Gaza, the Israel-Hamas war. Now, uh, we are expecting to hear from lawmakers up on Capitol Hill. We are also expecting to hear from families of Americans who are currently held in hostage right now uh, in that war. We also heard yesterday from several people who are traveling from all different points of the country to come to our nation's capital because they say the message is just too important. To make a very powerful statement to leadership in Washington that they need to continue uh, supporting Israel's right to its self-defense and also to make a statement to this country and the world that we won't stand for ongoing anti-Semitism. Okay, so it's no secret that this is a very, very tense topic, right? The, the, there's, there's very, very uh, opinionated stances on both sides of the argument here. So we are told that, you know, there is going to be a possibility of counter-protesters here um, at this March for Israel. However, there is a lot of security measures here, and the Metropolitan Police Department, D.C. Police, Jimmy Tony, say that there are no credible threats at this time. Back to you. All right, Joseph Omo, live for us on the mall. Thank you.